Hello, my friend. You asked me whether meaning is the ultimate motivation in human existence. Well, I don't believe it is. I think there are many different motivations in human existence and they all relate to each other in some way and they all form a very complex framework of possibilities and pathways that will motivate people to go in various different directions. Now the idea that meaning is the main motivation is to think that all of that fits together in a particular way and if we can figure out what that way is then somehow everything will be okay. But it just isn't like that. Things simply do not fit together in just one way. The whole point about human existence is that it all fits together in many different ways and that it is dynamic. It is constantly in movement. And therefore, for some people, the dominating motivation can be about having as much power as possible or finding as much love as possible, or making as much money as possible, or getting as much fame as possible, or doing something else as much as possible. It can be many different things. The one thing that we all have in common that motivates us all, so perhaps this is the main motivator, is survival. If put under pressure and being in a tight corner where our life is threatened, each of us will fight as hard as we can for our survival. No matter who we are, what we are, we will fight to the death for our own survival. That is certainly a strong motivator. And I think a lot of these other motivations come from that. They are more sophisticated ways of experiencing survival. So when Freud said the main motivator was pleasure, that was a kind of elaboration on the idea of survival. You know, the life instinct is that really about having as much pleasure or sensual pleasure or sexual pleasure as possible? Or is that essentially about affirming life over death? As we know, at the end of his life, he began to realize that there is also a death principle as well as a pleasure principle, and that taking account of are dying is very important. Why? Because that paradox of life and death is really one of the fundamental laws that guide us through our lives. That feeling that we must do all we can for our survival and not think about our death or if our death comes anywhere into vision we must push it out again. Those are not silly, neurotic things to do. That is part of our need for survival. And when we discover the paradox that the more we allow ourselves to think about death, the better we can survive, when we discover how that works, then we become better at survival. And hopefully a little bit better at dying when the time comes too. So we must take the need for our survival and our wish for our survival and our motivation for survival extremely seriously. And we shouldn't condemn ourselves for it or belittle it in any way. And all the different ways and means we have found to survive better by outwitting people or by strengthening ourselves physically or by becoming cleverer or getting more qualifications or getting better jobs or being more successful at something creative 
all of those different ways are different people's affirmations of their wish to survive and be seen to survive. There's nothing wrong with that until your wish for survival gets in the way of somebody else's. But that's a different story. I'll talk about that in another video. Goodbye, my friend. I hope it helps you think about meaning and survival.